Exactly one year ago, Unreal Engine released groundbreaking technology like Lumen and Nanite, which game devs and artists alike have been heating up. However, just this past week, Unreal hosted their annual keynote and oh my god, the features they showcased here are unreal. There's three major updates coming that are going to literally change game dev and animation forever. Like new material workflows, groundbreaking procedural tools, and an animation method that rivals some of the biggest films in cinema. So let's cover these one at a time. This video is sponsored by Squarespace. More on that later. So the first flex of the event was this groundbreaking showcase of a level design. They walk you through a gorgeous environment with hyper-realistic foliage and assets developed in tandem with Quixel. At first glance, everything seems normal until they start moving through the environment. Immediately, you can see the car's tires are deforming in relation to the landscape and the environment itself is simulating physics. This means rocks, dirt, even plants are moving and interacting with the car using Unreal's chaos physics. And if that wasn't impressive enough, they even showcase real-time fluid sims. This is all demoed in an insanely dense car model of 71 million polygons. But the crazy part is, all of what I just described to you is rendering in real-time. And that's thanks to Unreal's micro-polygon system called Nanite. We all know what Nanite is by now, it's kind of old news, but what they just announced is their new material editor named Substrate. This gives us a new and improved way to create complex materials in Unreal. And unlike some demos, oh my fucking God. this one actually works and they demo it by changing the car's paint job to an opal material. This is a major deal because not only is opal one of the most expensive ores in the world, it's also one of the most expensive materials to render, simply due to the insane amount of complexities that you find in an opal. Substrate allows you to layer pockets of iridescence, refractions, and reflections seamlessly on top of one another, creating a smooth and cohesive effect. They even add on layers of dust and dirt to showcase how the lighting works and transitions flawlessly from dirt to dust to opal. Substrate is going to equip us with new and inventive ways to create complex materials which were once before impossible to make, which is honestly a game changer. Now, this demo was incredible. And speaking of game changers, if you wanna blow people's minds with amazing demos like this, then you'll want to do that with the sponsor of today's video, Squarespace. Squarespace is the one-stop shop to create beautiful websites. And you don't even have to try that hard as there are loads of pre-built award-winning templates to choose from. Adding content is so easy with their plug and play features like auto image scaling and fluid animations for all of your content. One feature I can't wait to use is their third-party extensions for selling custom merch. I'm in the process of setting this up now for when I hit 100k subs and they make the whole process so easy. There's a link in my description, it's squarespace.com forward slash smeef. And if you click that, not only will you help support this channel, but you'll also get a free trial to make an amazing website. So when you're ready to launch your site, use code smeef and you'll get 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Click the link and thank you so much to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. Who is your best friend? Modeling. This is something you either love or hate, and it can be one of the most tedious sections of a production pipeline. There's revisions, iterations, and art direction that you have to take into account. But what if you could circumvent all of that and create an entire level design in just a few clicks? Well, this is where Unreal's procedural content generation comes in. They demoed the new set of tools by dropping in an assembly to the level, which is like a pre-made asset. But this asset is magical because it has procedural properties. For example, maybe you want to test a level without a fork in the road. Well, all you have to do is drag the prefab to the right and it automatically updates and seamlessly blends with the environment. This toolset also lets you create custom layers for an even more precise level design. So in this example, they made one for where a rock slide may occur. And it's as easy as dragging it into position and everything just works. Now these alone are super exciting until they pull out to showcase a wide view of the level. And this is where it gets crazy. Everything you see here, apart from the beginning of the level, is entirely procedural. 
meaning something something non-destructive. You want less trees? Done. You want more cliffs? Done. All of this can be updated on the fly, and it's not just bound to trees or landscapes. This can be done with bugs or smoke cards, basically anything needed for an environment. And if that wasn't enough, everything that was just showcased is being done at scale. So what you're looking at is a four kilometer by four kilometer level design, rendering in real time and essentially entirely procedural. Unreal now has the capability to define, iterate, and art direct entire levels in a matter of seconds. But if you thought that was good, this next feature is going to blow your mind. Animation is inherently difficult. From learning it to even understanding it, the average person can take months to get even the most basic principles down. Not to mention facial animation. If you want to make a believable character, everything comes back to the face and how it moves. If done poorly, your character's going to look like something out of Max Steel, and you'll get results like this. Okay, but in all seriousness, this is why big budget studios spend millions of dollars on specialized hardware and months of time processing that data for accurate facial animation. So what's the solution? Well, this is where MetaHuman Animator comes in. This is a new tool that lets you create high fidelity, scarily realistic facial animation in a matter of minutes. You literally hit record on your phone and both the video and depth data gets mapped onto your MetaHuman in no time at all. With one click, the performance of the video is accurately captured, processed, and applied to your MetaHuman. So you might be wondering, Spief, what if I don't have a MetaHuman? Well, this new workflow does it all for you. With just three frames from the previously recorded video, MetaHuman is able to accurately generate a model that matches your facial shape and structure with a surprising accuracy. And they call this your MetaHuman DNA. But it gets even better. Animator is able to generate a super detailed face rig that can predict your entire range of facial expressions. This is all possible due to their custom facial solver and it's just mind blowing that all of this is done with your phone. And it's worth mentioning here that this face rig is built to be animator friendly. It's an incredibly accurate triple A game quality rig that you're not only getting for free, but it also translates to any other metahuman, which as you can see, once this animation is exported, just how easy it is to test and apply the same capture on multiple different models in a matter of seconds. These tools are literally going to change the way games and films are made, and I for one can't wait to get my heads on them. But while we wait, there's one massive problem I see a lot of beginner animators make when finalizing their animations. And to fix that, you'll want to watch this video right here.